So here's what I'm going to do. Our first challenge, first one, you ready for it? Our first challenge is um, silk hankies. So we've got Rhinebeck coming up, New England Fiber Festival is coming up. Find some silk hankies. These things are fun and you can knit right off of them. This is just a small piece of a silk hanky. You can kind of see and there's not a whole lot to it. Um, but you know, they can seem like they might be a, maybe a little difficult to use because it seems like, well, where do you start is this big square and it is, it's a square, it's a silk hanky, but there's a whole bunch of layers. Actually, this one's pretty lucky cause it's got a layer that peels it's partially peeled right off. You can see as I peel it off and it's kind of sticky. This, even though it's super duper, oh, and it's stuck. My hands are super rough, and that you can thank pottery for that. But you can see it's really see through. Good Halloween mask or not. Um, anyway, this is still several pieces of, I can still see a couple of definite layers, but this will work. So you want to get a nice thin piece like this one layer of hanky and you start putting your hand right through the middle. You can see that I still have, you know, the hanky shape, but then I just poked a hole in the middle and poke a hole and now I'm pulling. That's all I'm doing is pulling it apart. So I've pulled it apart. You can see I've got this ethereal. All right. And so these, if you're just gonna do like one at a time, you just sort of set it behind you and start spinning, or you can make a bunch of little nests. Now you don't wanna wind it up too tight. I'm telling you from experience, if you wind it up, if you wind up big giant balls of this stuff, then you're gonna end up with it all sticking together and it's not gonna be fun. So make airy little fluffy nests and set it aside or spin as you go. I'm just gonna spin as I go. And that's just it. You see how this end is here? And I'm just gonna spin with a spindle today, just to give you an idea. And did you notice how I, I just folded it over like that? And then if I twist, it's a good way to start the yarn. And then we can draft out after that. And hopefully not do that. There we go. That's it. And you keep drafting and moving up. And this has a really long and sticky staple. So you're going to have to work at it. You can't probably tell how difficult it's my hands are working at it. But let's see, there's a little bit left over from before. Just drafting out. I got stuck on the wheel. Because it does float, it does move. Now, like I said, my hands are rough, rough, rough. People touch my hands and they're like, What have you been? I've been gardening, I've been working with the sheep, and I've been doing pottery. So my hands are rough. And I'm still able to do this. It's, the stuff does stick to my hands, but it doesn't stop me from moving my hands across. I can do this. So what you can do is you can either, um, that. you can use a sugar scrub. A lot of people use a sugar scrub on their hands. If you don't like them being roughed and if, it's not a thing that will bother you. It's not hurting the yarn. So just go for it. So there, that's our first challenge. I only have a tiny little start there, but I'm going to work on it some more. And I hope at least some of you join in and work on it with me. It's a lot of fun. And the thing that I like to make out of the silk hankies 
is little woven pieces, like little woven bracelets or with some beads, some bracelets with beads. And if I really get on it and I do what I say I'm gonna do in a couple of weeks, maybe I can show you the start of a little woven bracelet and you might wanna do that too. So uh, that's it for today. I hope you get some hankies or you pull some out of your stash and you work on it. Let's spin more.